y'all, it's Lectual, aka Alexis Joan Day of Intellectual Media, and this is Two Minute History. Let's talk about women in the Black Panther Party. While the public image of the Black Panther Party was predominantly male, by the 1970s, roughly two thirds of the party was made up of women. Kathleen Cleaver, wife to Eldridge Cleaver, served as spokesperson and secretary. She organized the national movement to free Huey Newton. She was also one of the first female members of the party's decision-making cabinet. Elaine Brown was appointed leader of the Black Panther Party by Huey Newton when he fled to Cuba on a murder charge in 1974. Bobby Seale once said that the idea of keeping a woman in her place was a short step away from saying keep a nigger in his place. On paper, the Panthers called for equality, but they actually left much to be desired. A woman even wrote a letter to Huey, voicing her disgust at Black Panthers who treated the women like sexual objects. Women were instructed to shoot as well as cook, implying that they must be revolutionary and retain their roles as traditional subservience. Elaine said in her memoir, A Taste of Power, that a woman in the Black Panther movement was considered at best irrelevant. A woman asserting herself was a pariah. If a black woman assumed the role of leadership, she was said to be eroding black manhood, to be hindering the progress of the black race. Women in leadership roles in the party often faced men who had never taken directions from a woman before, forcing them to adopt hyper-macho leadership styles. As noted by Asada Shakur, a woman who stepped on the wrong toes could be called uppity. Some male members showed blatant sexism and misogyny. It was rarely discussed by female members at the time who didn't want to diminish the very real issues that the party was trying to tackle. Basically, more than a few female Black Panther Party members had to put their gender on the back burner. Cultural and regional differences affected how local Black Panther Party chapters operated, so not all of them were anti-women. How one chapter behaved wasn't always condoned by other chapters. Setafini Shakur, Tupac's mom of the Black Panthers in New York, it was just never in my life had I met men who didn't abuse women. Black and sexy, baby.